Okay, so good morning. Morning. Hello. Hi, my name, nice my name's you. Kevin. Hi. 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 Okay, thanks. Uh, it's Blaine, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Blaine, yep. Yeah. Um, we're going to um, look at uh, some, uh, some faster driving today. Right. Uh, okay. Dual carriageways. Now, we've, we've been together now for um, quite a few lessons. Yeah. Um, so, last week we looked at some uh, dual carriageways as well. And there was a couple of things that we, um, we, we that came up that I wanted to talk about and wanted to practice again today. All right, okay. Um, yeah. And hopefully be able to consolidate and um, get right this time. Right, okay. So, um, so last week uh, we, we looked at um, um, how fast we go on approach to junctions and roundabouts on dual carriageways. All oh, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember okay. that we were a little bit fast coming up to the, the junctions. Yeah. Um, so, any, any thoughts about that at all? Well, I've been thinking about it since. I've been watching other drivers, and I think, yeah, the earlier you slow down, the less you react. So, but not too early. So, just getting that timing right, isn't it? Yes, yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. So, if you were going at seventy miles an hour, uh, coming up to a junction, when do you think would be a good time to start slowing down? Probably as soon as you see the countdown markers or before that, really. Yes, yes. Do you know the um, uh, the roundabout signs, the warning of the roundabout signs, slow down, roundabout ahead signs. Yeah. It's, a, it's a triangle sign with a red square underneath it. Mm -hmm. Usually that's when we start to, if we're going at full speed, at 70 miles an hour, that's where we'd start to slow down. Right, okay. um, yeah. Or at least um, come off the gas, have a look around, come off the gas right. and, and prepare to slow down. Um, okay, so that's good. Yeah, so do you know the main advantage of, of um, coming up to the roundabout at a slow speed? Um, that just buys you a bit more time, doesn't it? You can make a judgment on yes. possibly carry on then. Yes, that's right, yes. Yeah, we may not have to slow down that much. Mm. Uh, that's right. Uh, do, do you know what that is? Um, Buying more time, how does that...? Well, just, you can probably keep moving then, can't you, rather than stopping for okay. excessive. Yeah, that's right, yes, good, okay. Okay, and also we, we may get a chance to have a look at some overtaking as well. All right. Or even on the dual carriageway, some of these dual carriages are three-lane dual carriageways, going into three um, moving lanes. Right. Um, do you know, um, if we have, we have got some three-lane dual carriageways, do you know uh, what the two outside lanes are for? Um, well, they're overtaking, aren't they? Yeah, so when would you use the, um, the outside lane? Do you know when you might use the outside lane? To overtake cars overtaking the ones in the inside. Very okay, inside. good, yes. And would you go faster than the speed limit? No. No, okay. So that's something we need, we need to sort of factor into our overtaking as well, is, is right. the speed uh, for other vehicles. But we have done a little bit of that last week, so we'll, we'll carry on looking at that. And, but if you've got any questions or anything that you want to talk about with that, we can, we, I can talk through that with you again as well. All right. Okay, yeah. okay so uh, any other thoughts at all? No. Okay, so the last, last lesson last week was okay, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't too bad. Well, I think we're still making progress. You're, you're getting ready for your test now. Mm. Um, we're going to be... Um, a, a few little subjects we could bring in is uh, uh, planning, which is quite useful for overtaking, right. um, and how far ahead we, we look, especially on the faster roads. Right, okay. Okay. So, should we carry on then? Yeah. Okay. So, if you want to set yourself up... I'll just watch you, because... I know, you've, you've done it quite a few times now. Sorry about that, just interrupting you. That's fine. It'd be good if it just beeped or something, wouldn't it? Yeah. The one I've got beeps when you use it. Just the door camera, it's more expensive. <laughs> okay. okay, so I've noticed you set your middle mirror up there. Mm. You can just tell me how you know that it's set up correctly. Oh, I can see out of that window, okay, it's all clear. I can see behind me and stuff, so that's fine. Okay, good. And yes, and your two side mirrors. Um, These ones are manual control, yeah. and they just have a little knob on the side. That's fine, I'll just put that one out. Yeah, I can do that for you. That's fine, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So if you're ready, shall we carry on, please? Yeah. One other thing to mention, actually, um, just before we go then, is um, we've got a passenger in the back. Oh. Uh, so, quiet, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Examiner. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he. It's the man back. So, um, 
So um, do you think that could affect the dynamics or the, the um, response of the car in any way as you're driving along? I suppose it would be a bit different on bends and corners, I think. Yes, yes it would, yes. Do you know how it might affect the corner? Mm, I'm not sure, really. Well, the, the weight in the back is going to um, make the car want to swing out. All right, okay. More so if you're turning left or right. Um, also on a corner, yes, if you're turning at a junction. Mm. Um, you may find there's, you, you have to hold on to the steering wheel a bit more All right, um, okay. just to counteract that, um, that force right. pulling you over. Mm -hmm. And same with slowing down as well. You may find that you'd, um, you'll need a bit more braking force to slow down. Right. But what, what would be better than braking, putting more force on do you think, than slowing down harder, what would you think would be better that we could plan for if we did have... Um, just slow down earlier, I suppose. Yes, that's right, because it just needs a bit more braking force to, right. to slow the car down. All right, do that big one. Sorry? Do that big one. <laughs> it's just something to be aware of. Um, you may have one, you may have two or even three passengers in the back at some point in the future. Right. Um, okay. Could be an issue. Well, I'll okay, okay, so okay. Like to yeah. drive yeah. Then. when you're ready then, please, yeah. Okay, good observations there, moving away. I mean, it was only used to the mirror. Yeah. How do you think you'll be able to deal with this, this park lorry here? Well, I'm looking to see what that bus is doing, but I doubt good. it's coming down here. I'm checking my mirror just to see if anyone's trying to sneak one past me. Good, well done. Yeah. I'll well direct done. you if you want to direct me. So we'll follow the road ahead, second exit. Okay, so we'll follow the road ahead, second exit. For now, if it gets a bit steamy, we can put the... I noticed there you signalled and mirrored at the same time. All right. Okay. Um, do you know why we would? Or do you know what the sequence is? Your sequence for turn. Mirror signal. Yes. Yes. So we mirror first. Right. Yes. Okay. What do you think the dangers could be of mirroring at the same time or signalling at the same time? We look in our mirror. I'm not sure. Though. Why? Do you know why? We go left at the roundabout first. Okay. Okay. Do you know why we um, check our mirror first? Um. So we've got to react on what we see, I suppose. If there is something there, we yes, can yes. Not and signal, it, not go around. That's right, yes. Yeah, so you want to give yourself a, just, a, just a second or so just to assess what's there before you signal. There could be a cyclist at that sort of speed. There could be a cyclist there. I'm going to go left at the roundabout first exit. Okay, we're going to go left at the roundabout first exit, please. So what could you anticipate um, this road being that we're going to be joining in a minute? see the road signs on approach. Sure, yeah. So sometimes slip roads they have two two lanes. Sometimes oh. they only have one. Uh, sometimes they have two. If you're joining a road with two two lanes, what lane do you think you would want to be in? What lane would you like to be in? Well I'm not sure really, whichever one's appropriate. Okay, so we try and stay in the left lane All right. if we can. Um, because because the left lane is safer because we drive on the left. So here we can see two lanes. So which lane do you think would be safer? Um, the left, I suppose. Yes. There's no need to go in the right one, is there? That's right, yes. Uh, there could be times when you want to go in the right one. So what are you thinking about as we... Can you see... Tell me when you can see the motorway, that we're, the, the, the dual carriageway we're going to be joining. Oh, yeah, I see okay. this traffic. So what are you planning to do? And don't do anything yet, but just carry on. What are you planning to do? What are you thinking about? Um, well, look, then... This go solid over white line here, do you know what it means? The solid means I can't go over it, isn't it? Good, well done, yes. Once I get the opportunity, I'm going to go past this lorry. Okay. Well, so it's not until we finish the solid white line that we're allowed to cross over to the road. Nice, nice chin to shoulder check then as well. Trouble there. Very close. Got someone. Can't come back that way then, Fred. <laughs> yes, so, okay, so don't go out yet. Don't want to overtake yet, but can you see the lorry in front of you? Is, um, he yeah. to, is he allowing you to make progress? Not really. Okay. So, so would you, okay, so don't move out yet, but just right. catch your signal. So, just talk me through your sequence before you do it. What do you do first? Uh, we'll check my mirrors. Okay, so is it clear in the left mirror? what that car's doing. Put there. a signal, but don't move out yet. Make sure, it's, make sure you've got a sufficient space. Okay, so the, check that mirror again. Has the picture changed? No. Good, then move out to the middle line. 
Okay, so see how can you see how it's important that we must double check in the left mirror to make sure that space is still there. All oh, right. Yeah. If you did have if you did have a motorcycle coming in the middle of the lane, but you were signalling, what would be the best action to take? To um, cancel the signal. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. What could the motorcyclist do? I might think I'm just going to pull out and panic, maybe. Yes. Yes. He might panic as well, possibly. Yes. Okay. So, uh, what lane would you say was the most suitable lane to be in along the dual carriageway here? Um, well, this one at the moment because I'm catching up on. Yes. I would agree with that, yes. Yeah. And do you feel you're making sufficient progress? Um, yeah, I think so. It was 74 there and I think it's very good. Yes. Looking ahead at this van in front, do you think he'll be going slower than 70? Um, I think it probably is just. Yes, yeah. How can we, um, do you know the speed limits for different types of vehicles on the fast oh, roads? I'm sure I think he's going to go slower, isn't he? Yes, yeah, he's like a medium-sized vehicle. They're usually about 10 miles an hour less than, than us. This, you see this articulate lorry on the left-hand side here? Yeah. They're actually 20 miles an hour less than us. Oh, right, okay. Definitely going to catch them up there. So we definitely will, yes. So he's pulled over for now. So do you know um, what sort of distance is a safe distance to be behind a vehicle? Um, the sort of distance I would think. Yes, there is a, there is a wall we can use. Heard of the two second rule? Um, no, I haven't. Okay, so that's a rule that we use to um, judge the distance behind the vehicle in front. All right, okay. And the great thing about that rule is it works at any speed. Right. So, any speed we go at, if we can count um, two seconds after the vehicle in front passes a stationary object, and if we don't pass in front of it before we reach it, we know that we're at least two seconds at the same distance behind the vehicle. Okay, so we can see we're quite a long way now. Looking ahead, what are you planning to do along here? Do you think it'd be safer to come over to the left lane? Thank you. Okay, so can you see far ahead? Can you see what that big Arctic's doing up ahead? Oh, yeah. And also what we've got on the left-hand side here? We've got them slipways and things. Okay, so what this tra what's this traffic going to likely to do? Where am I? So I think pull out, won't yeah. Well, at least they're going to take the left lane, aren't they? They may pull out in front of us. So if we want to, um, we, could, we can use defensive driving to help other road users come onto the road. Do you know who would have give way? Who would have to give way if two people, one road, one car was coming onto our road? Who would have to give way? Would it be well, us? They would, wouldn't they? They're coming onto our they road. Would. Yes, that's right. But we can help them. If we've got the opportunity to help them come on, we, we can give them that opportunity. But um, um, that's, that's defensive driving. That's where we try to think what think for the other drivers oh, right, as well, okay. to help them to that's up to them isn't it well <laughs> it's up to them but remember um, if we can get out of someone else's danger if we, if we can avoid a hazard oh. we've avoided a hazard for ourselves as well as for them okay so looking ahead so don't come over just yet then Blake. Oh, right. so tell me then how you know it's safe to come over to the left lane if you want to pull well, back I'm see in the mirror which mirror the middle one I think good yeah, well done do you know what that does when you can see them in the mirror in the middle mirror um, so well, you told me to use black glass as a true picture. Good, yeah. What does that guarantee that, that the distance between us and the car behind is? Probably enough. Yes, that's right, yeah, that's right. At least two seconds. All right. We give our two seconds in front. We want to do two seconds behind, okay. Okay. Yes, talking about these Arctic lorries here, some some of these bigger lorries they have um, speed limiters on their engines. All oh, right. Okay. So they can actually they can't go faster than 60, 50 or 60 miles an hour. Right. Some of them are limited to 60. That's something you need to be aware of. So looking ahead, what, what do you think what would cause you a possible hazard? What do you think could be a possible hazard looking ahead? Well, that some pallets on the back of that van. What, what could they do? What could happen? And they look quite highly stacked. They could fall off, couldn't they? They could, yeah. So what sort of preventative action could you take? What could you Take him or go the other lane to take him when the one that car's just gone. Yeah, good, but without getting in too close, good. Okay, and what could he possibly do as he's waiting behind that lorry in front? Good, he could put out. Good, okay, so what we could also do is check that right mirror oh, okay, approach. Good. Um, how do you think that could help you? Well, I know then whether there's any further I can go there or not, I suppose. 
is right, yes, good. Okay, so it's the guy behind. I can't see what's there. Well done, so it's They're yeah. passing quite quick, don't you, lorries? Yes. Just turn that down. Okay, so, so again, looking ahead, what are you thinking about? How are you planning to. Oh, there's a big old lorry now that I've come across, right? Okay, so talk me through your routine. Uh, signal. Have a look, make sure that's okay. Clear. Okay, so you, you shouldn't um, do that, sh that uh, blind spot check there. All right. So, do you know, do you know why you shouldn't do it? Um, I wobbled a bit then. Sorry? I wobbled a bit then, didn't I? What? Sorry, sorry. So I wobbled a bit then. So yes, no. yes, that's true, yes, yeah. Because you took your eyes off the road mm. as you were looking all the way around, that's right. That's right, um, that's right. Um, also, you won't be, the consequence could be that you won't be looking down the road. So, at these speeds, we're, we'll be travelling at 100 feet per second. Right. Anything could come up in front of us if your eyes aren't on the road. What we would do there is a, and if you'd like to come back up to the left, you say, yeah. What we would do there is what's known as a chin to shoulder check. Oh, like I did originally, yeah. Yeah, where you just use the corner of your eye to look out the back. Oh, right, okay. And so you've got half an eye on the road ahead. So your eyes are still on the road at all times. Oh, right, okay. But you're getting a getting a quick view for the road behind. That, um, that means that you're, you've never taken your eyes off the road ahead. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so what other space have you got after the edge of the road? Do you know what this, this gap is? Oh, the hard shoulder thing. Hard shoulder, yes. So what could there be a hazard? What sort of hazard could you have on the hard shoulder? Do you know what the whole shoulder's are used for? Could be a stationary vehicle. Oh, right. Yes. Could have a broken down vehicle. Right. Um, we shouldn't use hard shoulders unless in an emergency. Okay. Uh, so if I catch for a second, yeah. Have to go for another 10 minutes because the test goes at the end of this road in 10 minutes. We can put in okay. a deep breath and you can okay. grab some money. Yeah. Then it's free of test goes, so we've got to take yeah. charge. So, yeah. so, how do you feel about the road here? Do you feel quite happy being just It's quite quiet now, now I can relax a bit. Yeah. Me off all of it. You don't want to relax too much. Do you know what speed you're doing? What speed are you doing? Oh, 70. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're making progress, yeah. which is important. But can you remember how much um, distance you'll cover at 70 miles an hour a second? A lot. A lot, yeah. Um, about 100, 100 feet. Oh, is it? Yeah, a lot. It's not quite uh, that many meters. From here to that post, from here to that sign, from where we are now, every second, we're going quite fast. Um, it's all right there, isn't it? It's a speed limit. It is a speed limit, that's right. Yes, another um, thing that happens on motorways is because the road, the roads are so wide, on the big dual carriageways, roads are so wide, do you feel as you're going very fast? Not really, no. No. That's, that's an illusion created by the space on oh, the right road. Okay, so looking at this van here, how are you planning to keep progress? It's going to go around in here. Okay, so what mirror must you check before you see? I might want to that van just to ignore it immediately, just okay. going to go. What point did you go to the other lane? Okay, so we're a little bit close to this van in front. You can go over it. Go all over now when it's too late. Yeah, okay. So how could we... How can we prevent ourselves from what we should have done there is not got too close to the van? Oh, so slow down a bit, so you slow down beforehand, yeah. Why do you think that well, might be? I don't want to slow down because then I wouldn't be able to get into the traffic, so I'd be slow for the rest of the traffic. Okay, I mean, that's, that comes back to our defensive driving. You can always let the traffic pass first All right. and then come out into the space behind. Again, um, why do you think it's important we don't force our way into, into overtaking traffic? Well, I don't think I did really, but I suppose you could cause some problem. Signals and tell them what you want to do, and then it's up to them what they did. Yeah, so if you saw someone in your right mirror, would you signal and they were approaching? I suppose not if they were approaching, but if they're just there, I would just so they know. Yes, yeah. What could they do if you signaled as they were coming alongside you, like this guy is now? You could make him jump, you know, make him kick up, yes. and change lanes, maybe. Yes, he may, he may make a sudden reaction to your action, right. um, which could startle him. At these sort of speeds, if we, um, we lose control of the steering, it can be fatal. Um, like coming back to the other point, travelling these speeds. So again, so don't get too close to this oh, right, yeah. front, so check, good, well done. And is your space still clear? Yeah, it's a motorbike coming up the outside lane, I think you might want to come across this slip lane. They do that, don't they? Yeah, they do do that, that's right. They do do that, that's right. But um, you did that chin-to-shoulder check, which is very good. Oh yeah, I've um, got that. 
confidence. So again, we're not looking over the right shoulder. But again, you need to see what's there. You need to see that motorcyclist and know where it is. So can you see the slip road coming on here? Yeah. What, um, what sort of hazards could this prevent you, present to you? What could it make these lorries do? Well, they keep flying over, can they? Again, how can we prevent asset? How can we prevent that hazard from happening? Even as a precaution. Well, we can't stop it happening, can we? But we could be ready for it. We could check yeah. to see if that lane's free to go into, maybe. Yes, yes. As, a, as an escape route, yeah. as, a, as an option that yeah. we've given ourselves. Good. Okay. So got an extra lane or something. Yes. Uh, so, what lane do you think would be the most appropriate lane? This one at the moment. Why is that? Well, because of this lorry here, it's just going up the hill, isn't it? Yeah. Going yes. slower up the hill. Yeah. And that's where I want you to look. That's why we should be planning oh, right. really so far ahead like this. Yeah. I mean, at these speeds, we need to be looking very far ahead because do you know how long it would take to, how, how much distance it would take to come to a stop if we had to stop at this speed? Oh, it's about 300 or so feet, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, from here to where that second post is, that second sign is, oh, at least. Really? It's quite a long, a long way. way isn't it? Yeah, and that's, so, but that's where we need to be looking. So if something's there, stop, we need to be stopping straight away, really, don't we? Not yes, that, that would be an emergency stop as well, yeah. and not a control stop. Yeah, so you see the Paul Grove sign, that's, oh, yeah. that's, that's, about, that's about your 300 feet, yeah. yeah it's about not there, really. Go there, do we? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come off at the, no, not the next exit, the second yeah, exit. Next exit. next exit, then. We're going to come off the next exit. So, tell me when you see, can see, we've seen the direction sign, so we know that it's coming up, we've got a, a sign about a quarter of a mile, half a mile ahead. When would be a good time to start your procedure for turning off, do you know? Um, is it those countdown mark things? Good, that's right, yes. Yes, do you know which one it is? We'd have three. Um, the second one, the middle one. Yeah, we usually go between the third and the second. All right. We go between the third and the second. At, at this speed, it gives people well, why? Because that's quite a long way back. That's 300 yards. Why would you want to give a lot of time? Because we're on the road, we're going to give eight to ten car lanes, don't we? Yeah, well, we're going fast, can't we? Good. So okay. We're not going to slow down to come off, are we? So we're not really going to affect the other cars, are we? Good. Well done. Yes, that's right. Good. Well, that's right. And you get the other right answer then as well. Which you know, yes. So again, coming off of these. Uh, what lane would you take? Would you come um, the left, the left, the left, the left, the left. Okay, good, well done. Yes, that's right, yeah. There are some occasions where we may want to use the right lane. Do you know when they might be? Especially if we had a junction at the end. Okay, so if we had a lot of slow moving traffic and both lanes were going ahead. So looking at this, how would you be able to um, navigate through this junction here? Through your route lead? We can go left of the traffic line. Okay, good, yeah. So I'll just check my mirrors. I'm not going to signal this bit earlier. I'm just looking out. There's an ambulance there, so you might start to get shouted. Have you got a pass sign as a signal? Yeah, for now. Good, yes, well done. Yes. I don't need a signal now, though, because it's all marked up and everything, and I can only go that way, can't I? You're, yes, that's right, actually. Yes, you're right. No, you, I would say no, you wouldn't have to signal because there's no other option you could take. We have right. to, is there, we have to follow the traffic. We have to follow the road. Say there was no curb over there and we could have crossed over a lane, then I would have said yes, the signal then. Mm. But because we've got the curb there and both lanes are going this way. Oh, right. I'd say that was that was fine, yeah. Uh, I noticed your speed on approach to this this junction as well was very good actually. Oh right, yeah, it was better than last week, wasn't it? Probably. Yeah. That's not ready for Good, so I noticed you gave the uh, right shoulder a check yeah, there. It's got like a giveaway line here, and I wonder why that was, and you had a green line. Yes. Um, well, that means you can carry on when it's a green light. So the Usually they're stop, stop lines, aren't they? Oh, next uh, next lane. So I'll take the next lane, please. That's right. Is it this one or that one? This one. Yeah, both. Yeah. Good. Yeah, again, that was a nice speed on approach. Um, Know what this lorry might be doing? Um, he might go there as well, might he? And he yeah. wasn't very quick back there, was he? So maybe he's busy 
do a text or bank order. Okay, that's Mary, you just check before you turn that one. That's it. Okay. Yeah. I go uh, third exit, we're around And remember, when we come off the roundabout, which is what sequence do you go through when we come off the roundabout and when you start it? To the first and the second. So, yeah, just about there, that's right. Yeah. That was better, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you remember that, we got that problem with it. There are some occasions where we don't signal to come off roundabouts. Do you know when that might be? Well, if it's going to affect yourself, like through tight roundabout, maybe. Good, that's right. Left at the roundabout first exit, please. Just remind once more when you're going to signal to come off the next roundabout. So at the roundabout, we're going to turn left for the first exit. Um, when do you think you do, need to do a mirror check for this one? Well, just as I come on, just I'm coming off, it's the same thing here. Really. Yeah, good, that's good, yeah, well done. Okay, I think you've, you've understood that quite well. So I'll, I'll watch you, but um, I won't, uh, won't go on about that anymore. Okay, if you just find somewhere safely and convenient to park. Okay, so that was pretty good. So the speed on approach to junctions was very good. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to talk about that much at all. Okay. Really, I just have a quick comment at the end, um, mm -hmm. saying how good it was actually. Um, I pray, um, and, and your overtaking was was quite good. We had the chin to shoulder check rather than the blind spot check. Right. Can you remember why we shouldn't do that blind spot check? And you gave gave me a good reason actually. Oh, you got bobbled, didn't I? Yes, yeah. that's right. Any yes. other reasons? Okay. Well, the main, the, another good reason is um, that we're taking our eyes off the road right. because we're travelling at such a fast speed. There could be something happening on the road that we haven't seen, right? Um, because they're because we're not looking ahead, um, and so we need to be looking ahead all the time, really. Uh, but of course, you're right, there is that danger to the right if we're going into the right-hand lane. Right. So we can use something called our peripheral vision, which is just out of the corner of your eye. Oh yeah, just, okay. Yes, and so you can actually see you can see the road ahead and the road to the side. So if you're using mirrors enough, it shouldn't really be a problem, should it? It shouldn't, that's right, yes, yeah. That's right, yes, that's right. Okay, we'll just copy that. Okay, so how did you think that 